Welcome back to Power Electronics, and we're continuing on with our section on DC to AC inverters. And this is a, the first of a two-part set of videos on the six-step, three-phase inverter. In this video, we're going to review three-phase power, and then we'll illustrate six-step, 180-degree conduction switching. Uh, there are other types, such as 120-degree conduction and 150-degree, but we're going to focus on 180-degree uh, uh, switching for our, our switches. And then we're going to develop the line to neutral phase voltage for our six step inverter. Let's quickly review three phase power. And here I show a Y connected load. And up here we have our A phase, and we have red is our B phase, and blue is our C phase. And in a three phase system, uh, we have uh, a line to neutral which would be from the line, the A node, to our neutral conductor, which is the gray conductor down here. And for the color code I have shown here, this is 12208. And so our line to neutral voltage is 120 volts RMS. And if I'm in phasers, I'll show this at an angle of zero degrees. Our, our line to neutral for our B phase is 120 volts RMS, and it's at an angle of minus 120 degrees. It delays or lags our A phase by 120. And our C phase, if we look at our C phase, again, going from line to neutral, here's our plus, here's our minus, our C phase is going to be 120 volts RMS, and it lags the B phase by 120 or Conversely, we can say it leads our A phase by 120 degrees. And again, we show a, 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 a Y connected load. We can also have delta connected loads. And in a delta connected load, we look from line to line. So here we have our A to B, and we'll write that A to B, that's called a line to line voltage. And go back and review uh, your motors or your machines class where you learn polyphase uh, voltage. And uh, this is 208. And if we're referencing our line to neutral uh, phase angle, this is going to be at a, a phase angle of 30 degrees, again, relative to our A line to neutral. Um, and, but its voltage is 208 volts RMS. And that's, that's called a line to line voltage. That's A to B. And then we can also have the B to C line voltage, and then finally the C to A line voltage across that. And that's a delta connected load. For inverting systems, we would like to be able to create a three phase uh, modified sine wave. And we can do that with a six step switching sequence. As you can see here, I have the switches color coded. S1 and S4 form our pair for our A phase. S3 and S6 are red and they form our pair for our B phase. And S5 switches and S2 are in blue and they form our C phase. In 180 degree conduction, we are going to turn switch S1 on and I'll show that as a high logic level. And each one of these ticks represents 60 degrees of, of, of our cycle. And recall in the past videos, I've been plotting our, our time axis as uh, in conduction cycle, and it normalizes our axis. So 360 would be one cycle. And uh, S1 is going to be on or closed for uh, 180 degrees of conduction in that cycle. And it's pair S4 then after that one turns off, turns on for 180 degrees. And then S1 turns back on again for 180. And then S4 would turn on. And they alternate. S1 and S4 alternate back and forth. Now let's look at S3. Recall our B phase will delay our A phase by 120 degrees. And so if we count over two hash marks, again, each hash mark is 60 degrees of conduction angle, we're going to fire our 
switch three, which is our, our positive going for our B phase for 180 degrees, then we're off for 180, and then on for 180, then off. And then S6 will just alternate from that one. So after S3 is, is done, S6 turns on for 180, then off for 180, then turns on. And we'll see it comes all the way through here to complete that. Finally, S5 delays S3 by 120 degrees. So let's look at our S3 and go over 120 and come down. And here's our S5. Let's go up. Again, we're going to conduct for 180 degrees. Off for 180. Back on. And S2 will turn on and off, uh, alternating from S5. So if we find S2, we see it's going to look like that. And I'm sure you can see the pattern that's formed here with our switches. They're all offset, and there's a reason, again, why they're all labeled this way. And this is the timing diagram for a six-step inverter. And we would use S1 to uh, pulse the, if we're using FETs, the gate to source for S1. We would use S2 to pulse the gate to source for S2 and close that switch, so on and so forth. Now let's look and derive the, the, the line to neutral voltage. And I'm going to focus on just our line to neutral for A. So here we'll plot our V A to neutral. And we're, we see, and I'm only going to go up to 360 degrees, but let's look at this first switching period, this first 60 degrees. And here we see that S1 is closed. S2 is open. S3 is open. S4 is open. S5 is closed. And S6 is closed. If I redraw our circuit, and notice we have matched loads, all the, all the impedances are equal, we see that our A node is connected to VDC, and we also see that our C node is connected to VDC. So let me draw those like that, both connected to VDC. We see that our B node is connected to ground. Here's our B node down here. Here's our neutral. And it's not too difficult to show that from uh, using Z, these two, these two impedances in parallel, their equivalent impedance would be Z divided by two, and that's in series with Z, we can use the voltage divider rule and show that our voltage A to neutral is equal to one thirds VDC. And so I'll draw that in there. And that's for switch S, S, uh, switching period S1, the first 60 degrees. Let's look at the next 60 degrees. I'm going to clean this drawing up. In this second switching period, uh, from, from 60 degrees to 120 degrees, again, we see S1 is closed, still remains closed. S2 is now closed. S3 is open. S4 is open. S5 is open. And S6 is closed. Again, let's draw the uh, circuit in a, in a way that illustrates this in more detail. And we see that node A is connected to VDC. There's our node A. And node C and B are now connected to ground. And here's our neutral conductor right in the middle. And here's C and here's B, and there's our VDC. And these are all balanced. So our voltage VA to neutral for this 
uh, uh, 60 degrees of angle, 60 to 120, is easy to show that that is equal to two thirds of VDC. So here's one third of VDC, and here's two thirds of VDC. Now let's go over to the switching period for three. And here in three, we see S1 is still closed, S2 is still closed. Now S3 closes, and the rest of them are opened up. And here we see that, again, if I draw the equivalent circuit, our A is now still connected to VDC. There's our A node. But this time our B node is connected to VDC as well. And our C node is connected to ground. And here's our neutral. So our plus to minus VA to neutral, our line to neutral voltage for A goes back to one third of a volt. Now let's look over at our fourth switching period. And here's where things are going to change. And I'll clean this drawing up. In our fourth switching period, S1 is open, S2 is closed, S3 is closed, S4 is closed, S5 is open, and S6 is open. Here now we see our a node is connected to our ground as well as our C node is connected to our ground. So let's, let's draw our A node. There's our A node down there. It's connected to our ground as is our C node. There's our neutral connector between our phases and our B node is connected to plus VDC. So here we see our voltage V, if I do A to neutral plus to minus, it's going to be at a negative potential and a negative potential of minus one third VDC. Again, you can go and do the uh, uh, voltage divider rule and put these two in parallel and, and you'll see that comes out. And finally, let's do one more switching period because you'll see the pattern after this one, or if you already have seen the pattern. And in that fifth switching period, we see that S1 is open. S1 is open, S2 is closed. S3 is closed. Hold on, let's see. S S1 is open, S2 is open. Get this one right. S1 is open, S2 is open, S3 is closed. S4 is closed and S5 is closed. S4 is closed and S5 is closed. Here we see now our B and C phases are connected high and our A phase is connected low. And here what we'll see, here's our A phase now down to ground and our neutral, our plus to minus VA to neutral is now going to be minus two thirds. And so I'm going to just draw the rest of this waveform in. And you see that we have a four level waveform. It's a not a very good looking waveform. Let me that's not two that's two thirds, minus two thirds.
And let's go clean this up a little bit. I have a cleaner version on the next slide. And here we have a cleaner version and here's 720 degrees of phase angle. Here's 360 degrees of angle. And this is two thirds of our DC applied voltage. That's one third. And this is our VA to neutral. This is our VB to neutral. And this is our VC to neutral. We can find our line to line voltages. So for example, we can find VA to B and that is equal to VA to neutral minus VB to neutral. And if we do that, um, we'll be able to get th that voltage as well. And uh, uh, if you look in Daniel Hart's text in chapter eight, he plots both the line to line and the line to neutral. I'm gonna focus though, just on our line to neutral voltages. So that's the six step inverting. And you see we have a four, four, uh, four level modified sine wave that is in three phase from our six step 180 degree uh, inverter. Let's recap the key points. Um, first of all, we showed how to create a four value modified sine wave for the line to neutral voltage using six step 180 degree switching. And we had to order the switches in, in a strategic manner and um, with the A, B, and C phase such that we would get the proper uh, switching conduction angles. And all the switching sequences were separated by 60 degrees when you saw from the chart um, in there. In the second video, we're going to look, in the second part of this video, we're going to investigate the RMS and the total harmonic distortion for this uh, four value modified sine wave that we get from six step 183 um, conduction for our uh, three phase inverter. Thank you for watching.